Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video I'm going to give you a general overview of this QNAP QTS. Uh, in my last video about QNAP uh, NAS, I had shown you how to upgrade from the QNAP 3.8 to this 4 and this is the new version and as you can see you get this friendly wizard and let me just quickly give you an uh, overview. You can also just download this QFinder app for Windows and thereby you can easily mount uh, uh, drive etc on Windows. You can also do it uh, for the Mac and we do get photo station, music station and we also get a DLNS server and you can also create a personal cloud file synchronization and various aspects and let me just hit this finish and we can uh, go back and if you notice the interface now for this QNAP QTS is very clean and you do have multiple uh, screens like this you can navigate by clicking here uh, and we do get this is the dashboard and this gives you a overview of your NAS, the health of your drives and what's going on with your NAS. If you have any errors, etc., they'll be displayed over here. So very nicely done. And the interface looks very modern. And if you click here, you get access to all the uh, common applications that you have. But if you notice, you can also, we also have icons over here. And let's say you want to uh, uh, move one of the icons here. You just grab it and you can pull it and drop it here. And now we have created a quick icon. We can also group the icons. For example, let me group both these. You can just drag this over here and now you can group it like this. So again, it offers us a lot of functionality. You want to remove it, you just go here and pull it back. You can easily also remove the icon, just right click it and remove it. And I would say this new QTS simplifies the NAS layout a lot and it's uh, very easy to operate. And from here, if you click here, we do have desktop preference. Uh, right now it's in the small thumbnails more but if you want detailed uh, instructions about it you can click that and now it gives you an overview of what all these applications are doing let me just go back to the small thumbnail we can also go to the tab mode or the windowed mode and here we have help and this you can use to access the help and this is the generic search and you can directly search for anything on your nas from this option if this is the admin panel you can log in and do all your stuff if you have any notifications they'll be displayed over here and if you have any external devices like let's say portable hard drives etc they will come on over here again um, you can open up any application let me show you the same now and uh, as you can see it opens in its own tab you can anytime just click here and minimize it and as you can see right now we have these two applications running and you can quickly move them between them and i have to say this uh, qts4 is actually pretty fast i thought it would have been a bit sluggish but it is very fast and also to update your apps it's very easy here just let's go to the app center and we'll show you the apps that you have already installed. You can also install a lot of apps. As you can see, we have uh, categories over here, but let's say you want to update your existing apps. Uh, for example, this photo station is not yet updated and to update the same, you just click here and it will quickly update it. So I feel the interface is now very polished and now administrating the NAS will be a lot easier for people who are not used to uh, NASes. But if you want, you do get all the functionality. For example, if you can go to this control panel, you do have all the options that were there earlier. So you're not missing anything, but just it simplifies uh, the process, I would say. And the presentation has been improved a lot. For example, you can go to the storage manager and access all your drives, grid management you can do, smart, etc. And as you can see, uh, I have just one disk and it's in good condition right now. You can again dwell into this and you have all the options that were there so uh, so it's not like QNAP has removed the options but they have just polished the interface and they have made it a lot easier for people who are new to this NAS also uh, if you just go here you see these these are actually shortcuts you can click this and you can now download the QNAP mobile apps that are available again you have the utilities also and you can use this to expand the functionality of your NAS. So I would say this QTS update is a very good update for your QNAP NAS. Uh, I always like the QNAP like uh, in terms of functionality it had everything but just the admin interface was very outdated but now with this QTS4 QNAP has fixed it. 
So again, that's it for now for this quick overview of this QT S4. If you found this video helpful, I'll appreciate if you can click the like button. That's it for now. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.